All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Torch Presents. Now, here we have on the review table the very beautiful, and you can tell just by how sexy that artwork box, artwork, artwork on the box is. That is the Justice League Tactical Suit Batman from the Justice, from, wait, from the Zack Snyder Justice League Director's Cut. So, the branding is the same with this and with the Nightmare, uh, Superman and Batman set, as well as Cyborg. This is the Tactical Batman. And this is a reissue or a new version of the figure. Supposedly we updated paint apps. We are going to take a look at this. I'm very excited. This is a beautiful piece. It's, I gotta say, it's a freaking heavy box and um, it, it's also pretty big. So it, it's gonna be chopped packed full of good stuff. All right, again, this is Hogwarts Toys Presents new episode. Remember to hit up Hogwarts Toys and Ray messages for all of your collecting needs. So let's take a look. Are you guys beautiful artwork as I mentioned, beautiful picture. I love the black and white design that comes on these, um, the two-tone, the grays. Uh, you know, signifying of a, of a Snyder Cut release um, on the back you go, ah, stuff that I hate, don't care about. And this is just gorgeous now. Let's take a look at, at the clamshell out. As you can see, this is chalk packed full of stuff, so yeah, this is going to be insane. Let's take a look. So here we have this tray. This is really chunky and really hefty, by the way. It's heavy as hell. So let's take that off. All right, immediately, all right guys, we are going handheld for a second because immediately I want to show you. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting you were going to get two goggles, total of three different eye plates and three different faces. That's a very awesome, like, added on feature. Um, the figure looks fucking beautiful. I mean, I don't know what else to say except fucking beautiful, so. This looks chunky and hefty. The paint, look at this. This is just when we're gonna look at this like right away. But I just wanted to show you real quick. Holy shit, snakes. All right, we're gonna look at this right away. I guess we have an eye dropper to my fingers accidentally grazed in here. <laughs> but that, I guess that what pulls out the face mask and eye dropper. Eye plate. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. We're gonna look at the figure. Uh, some movie magic here. I already pulled the cape. The cape was taped to the underside, and I already pulled it out. So this is heavy as fuck. Holy shit, snacks! It is beautiful. Okay, so the way the head works, it works probably the same way as a nightmare one, where it's got a it's it's a thick. Pop up, yeah, yeah, this is, this is exactly the same as the Nightmare one where the call is attached and you can pop him up that way. So, anyway, let's kind of put him back, but that's probably how you're going to change the eyes and the hand. And the, this is a very good likeness of Ben Affleck. I mean, holy shit. Um, the cape is a very thick material. Now, you see these spots here, those are. It's meant to be that way, okay? This is this is weathering that they did on the cape. Um, it's actually sewn in over here, so let's just make sure we're saying the right thing. It's a very nice, hefty material now. However, this is not, it does not have um, any wiring to it, so it's, it's not a posable cape, so. Just kind of know that, but we'll take a closer look when we pose it. Um, so as mentioned, you want to pull the cape seams off of the shoulders in order to release the head. All right, as we've shown before, and this is how you're going to, we'll get into how to change the plates in a second. But so, then you want to you put it back. What you want to do is you know, put this on and then 
and drape it how it's supposed to be draped. Just to take that and there. And that's how you fuss with the kit. This is a very heavy, very, very like super heavy body mill. I love the details on the armor. I think it's extremely beautiful well done. This is chunky, same as chunky as the Nightmare Batman. Uh, everything about it is just chunky, chunky, chunky. So these gloves are pretty, they're beautifully sculpted, very well weathered. Uh, they're razor sharp, like razor sharp, be careful. Um, but these comes off the same way the Nightmare Batman does from the two-pack. Um, so very beautiful. Look at that. I love overall the weathering on the suit. The paint application is it's well worth the cost of admission if you ask me. Um, so we can articulate this this way. I love the material. It doesn't. It's got this rubbery texture, but painted extremely well. I think they did they did a fantastic job in this release. Uh, you've got your split cut boot on the armor. Okay, be careful with be careful with posing this because these this is a rubber plate that's attached to the knee joint. And so yeah, you just want to be careful about that. So it's removable, meaning you can pull this off, pull this off to get that, but you know, I don't think you want to. Right? So, and then that's the articulation. Soft ratchets, easy to move, that's good. Sometimes they give you figures where the ratchets just suck. So, Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of posability out of this one. So here is the man. This is like the straight out of the box. Now I gotta say, uh, it's paintwork, fucking gorgeous, beautiful. I do really love it. However, uh, just know that you're straight out of the box because of the way the body works, right, and the way the rubber suit and the armor. His straight out of the box is uh, pose is kind of a wee bit goofy. You see how the arms are going out like that. It's fine once you actually pose it correctly and swap the hands up. I'm just saying that if you just pull out of the box and you stick it on the review table, you're gonna be like, uh, hi, like hello. <laughs> anyway, you've got this beautiful DX Nightmare base. Um, the Parademon. This is very, very hefty, by the way. So this is kind of a beautiful thing to get. Some of you are like me, and sometimes you, you need beautiful bases. You don't really want to put the stupid crotch grabber. Um, I'll tell you right now, this guy is chonky, and while the joints are very easy to play with, which is nice, you're not really going to be able to put a pose on, you know, standing on the parody name without the crotch grabber. There's just no, the way the body works and the way the base is, there's just really no room. There's no, um, there are no points for it to just catch on that you can balance it it's gonna be really hard so you're gonna have to hide the crotch grabber in there now the other thing too that I noticed in uh, while just playing with this is the armor the chest plate freaking beautiful love it but because of the way the armor is, is on the figure there's really no upper torso movement at all so you're really gonna be crafting poses just off of the rotation of the head and other joints in the body but this is pretty much gonna be the same and you're gonna have to angle the whole body to whatever it is you want to accomplish Get your different hands for grabbing things. I think this, is, this looks like it's a battering hand. So, it's an open wrist. Mm, uh, holding hand, probably a rifle hand. These are the goggles. Um, so you get two of them. I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but we'll find out. This is the second goggle. And the various eye, eye plates. The other eye piece. Alright, and then I'll show you what's in the accessory tray. I'm not going to take them out because some of these are really small and I just don't want to fuss with these, but. You've got a, a rifle, parademon rifle here. Um, this is some 
This, that's his grapple gun. Not quite sure what this is. Some kind of, I don't remember from the movie. Some detonation charges. You got three batarangs and then these small little pieces for. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what they are. I don't really want to take them out and have them fall over the place, so. We'll see how we feel after we do a couple more poses. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna try and demonstrate the eye interchanging system. This little T shape. So what you want to do is your eye locker, and it's going to be hard because of the focus, you're going to need to slide this T in here. It's going to catch like so, and then you just pull and it releases the eyes from the eye socket. And then voila, there you go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take another eye and then swap it in there. So I pick another eye that's looking to the right because that's how I'm going to have them. And then you're going to want to kind of shimmy this in and line it up. You line it up and then you just push the T down. It will lock in place very easily. Okay. And then Voila, you are done. This is great. And then let's swap out the mouth plate. Do you want to be careful with the mouth plate? It is a little bit fussy, so it's on a magnet, but just to be very careful how you just pull you pull it out just so you, you know make sure you don't scratch the paint. So I'm gonna take this one off. And then I'm gonna put the put a more of the action face on. So it's pretty good, and then we're gonna put it back on the stand on his head. So as I said before, this is like the Nightmare Batman. This is so chunky that what they did was they, you know, made a, a system that you just pop that on. So I think it's, it's a very good design and um, it's easy to maneuver. So what you want to do with the cape is you want to just pull it forward, right? And then pull the, pull the cape flaps over the shoulder so that you can then pop the head back on there. So, there. Catches in, then you just wanna pull the fabric out a little bit so that you can then fix the drape and hook that over. And that's how it's supposed to go, and then and move it a little by how you pose it so then it sits Now on the turntable on 360, you can see the battle damage. When you look at it like that, it looks really freaking good, that battle damage. They did a really good job with it. It makes it make sense and pop in the environment. All right, I have to sneak this pose in here because <laughs> this is less of I'm um, Batman, but more like I'm Ben Affleck doing Shakespeare. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> I just thought it'd be shits and giggles. Alright 
Alright guys, we're ending this here. Kind of like a dynamic walking pose. Whoever gets this guys, I really hope you enjoy it. It is a wonderful figure. Um, I mean, just look at the shot on this thing. I, this is, I love it. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough and look around of this figure. And don't forget to message Ray at Hogwarts Taurus for all your collecting needs. And don't forget to use the code PINGASM when you message Ray and you will save a little bit of money off of your order. That is his way of thanking supporters of this channel and supporters of Hogwarts Toys. So, alright guys, we will see you in the next episode of Hogwarts Toys Presents. Yeah.